Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Rockwell 5 from our Privilege collection. You can see here it's a tunnel design tent which can sleep up to five people. We have two bedrooms across the back, a good sized sealed living space and a front canopy on here as well, all of which we will show you in detail shortly. First of all though, I just want to talk you through the features on the outside of the tent. So the fly sheet that we're using on here is our Outex 4000. So this is a good quality taffeta polyester material. Uh, all of the seams have been fully taped throughout and it's fully PU coated on the inside as well. And that gives this tent a hydrostatic head of 4,000 millimetres, so it is completely waterproof. Uh, it's also fire retardant and it has been UV treated as well, so that's going to make sure that this lasts for a good long time under UV degradation or sunlight. The frame that we use on here from front to back is made up of Duratec fiberglass poles. So these poles are a little bit different to what you might know from standard black fiberglass poles. You can see they look a little bit different and they act a little bit differently too because these actually have a protective sheath on the outside of them which just make them a little bit more resilient, a little bit stronger. And if they were to break then what you tend to find with these is that they would split lengthways as opposed to shattering into lots of bits and potentially damaging your tent. So uh, we also colour code the frame on here as well. So you can see that there is a red tab at the front here and there's another colour at the back. So this should make setup and pitching pretty simple and easy, making sure that you get the right pole in the right place. We have our aero effective uh, ventilation within this tent as well. So you can just see here, this is where we have this sleek and streamlined vent. Uh, just under here is then where we have a strip of mesh material, which is going to allow cool fresh air into the tent and make it feel that little bit more comfortable on warmer days. You can easily get rid of this though simply by removing the Velcro tabs and pressing down on the side like this. A great feature on here is the fact that we have these really large windows all the way around the tent. So when you're in there, that's going to feel nice and spacious because there's lots of light being let into the tent, which we'll see shortly. Uh, something else worth highlighting here is the fact that this tent is actually very stable. Even though we're using fiberglass poles here, uh, we are using our wind stabiliser system uh, on here just to create a bit of a more sturdy structure. I'll show you now how that works. When you're setting the tent up, all we have to do is simply wrap these Velcro tabs around the poles like this and fasten into position. You'll find that there's one at the top and at the bottom of the poles all the way around the tent here. This is then where we have our guy lines attached and uh, of course we're in the showroom just now so limited for space here but when you take the guy lines out and peg them into position, that will pull the entire fly sheet onto the frame of the tent, making the whole thing much more taut and therefore much more stable. So you can be safe to know that this tent is actually going to perform pretty well in bad weather because it is totally waterproof, as I said, and we do have a good uh, solid structure thanks to these good quality poles and wind stabiliser system. Around the front of the tent then is where we then have the canopy, which I mentioned before. And what this gives you is a rain safe entrance, so that's giving you shelter across this front door area here. Um, you can see the door itself is a D-door style, so uh, you can see that it rolls away to the side as opposed to up the way, which just makes that door a little bit easier to access. We then also have behind the waterproof door a full mesh door. So we have them both rolled away at the moment, but you can see here that you do actually have two separate doors. Uh, so behind the waterproof one is the mesh one which can be fully zipped over to allow for great ventilation within the tent, uh, but hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs. Uh, so something else just to highlight while I'm at this point here, which you're not going to be able to see, unfortunately, from the angle that we're at, we have a lantern hanging point, which is just behind the material in here. Uh, and then we have cable tidies that actually run down the inside of the tent, all the way down to where we have a cable entry point. You can see here we're actually using the cable entry point at the moment. So we bring our cables in through here, uh, which would allow us to, of course, then completely close over that front door. So inside the tent, there's actually quite a lot of space in here, even though it's a relatively sort of compact floor uh, footprint rather to the tent, there's actually a good amount of space. So I'm quite tall at around one meter 95 and I can stand up in here no problem whatsoever. You can see that we also have a decent amount of furniture in here and there is still a good amount of space. As I said to you earlier, that's uh, largely due to the fact, certainly the feeling of space anyway, is largely due to the fact that we have these large windows all the way around us. Uh, if you do want a little bit more privacy or less light coming into the tent though, you will find that each uh, window has its own curtain, which we just have rolled away at the moment at the bottom here. What we do have though is toggle points halfway up the window, so you can bring that curtain either halfway up or you can fully close it as well. And then we have these strips of mesh as I pointed from the outside above the windows, which correspond to the outside ventilation panel. The 
uh, ground sheet that's in this tent is actually fully sealed from front to back and from side to side and it's a bathtub style ground sheet so you can see here clearly that it is coming up at the edges so that's going to stop any draft from coming into this tent so it's a good cosy area. It'll also keep out things like dirt, dust and sand and again hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. Uh, at the back of the tent is where the bedrooms are situated and as I mentioned again before these can sleep up to five people. Uh, a nice feature here is that they actually come pre-attached, so all you have to do once they're in is just uh, adjust into position just so that they're sitting the way you want them. So in terms of features on the bedrooms themselves, we have some handy storage pockets down the middle of the two bedrooms here, so these are great for smaller personal possessions. You then just see that also both doors have mesh panels across the top here just to keep you cool and comfortable within the bedrooms too. Inside the bedrooms, we have some ha more handy pockets. So these are going to be great for things like phones or chargers or magazines and things like that. And then across the back, you'll just see here, we have a large ventilation panel, which corresponds to an outside panel on the fly sheet. You'll also then see that separating the two bedrooms, we have this piece of material, which zips at both sides here. And that's going to allow you to roll that up to create one large bedroom uh, across this back area, or as we have here with the two bedrooms. So we have a couple of optional extras available for this tent, which would be the flat woven carpet that you can see in the living area here for a little bit more comfort underfoot. There is also a footprint available to go under the ground sheet of this tent, and that's going to keep it clean and dry on those wet and muddy days. So there you have it. That's all the features of our Rockwell 5 from the Privilege Collection. Thank you very much for watching.